Good day folks. Today on the bench I want to show you a fly tying setup, how I use and some tips and tricks that may help you make it a little easier for your fly tying. So I'll just uh, go over a few things uh, with you. We'll start with here. We use a good comfortable chair of course. It's going to be tying a lot. First thing I did I was having neck problems and sitting, hanging my head too much. I, I raised my vise up probably four inches. So that's taking a lot of pressure off my neck. That helped a lot. So make sure you get, you don't want it too high, make it so you're about shoulder level or whatever is comfortable for you. Then another important thing I found, I was getting very tired. Uh, my eyes were getting tired and I was hard to focus. I used to have a lot of uh, miscellaneous, like, uh, storage bins and fly tie materials in behind me, my other desk at my other house. What I found is use these backdrops. I've just used a bookend and put a little um, uh, plastic sheet, uh, core cloth in behind this and take them some foam, whatever color you want. Um, that really helps focus just basically on your on your hook whenever you're tying your fly. You can focus without being distracted. That helps your eye strain a lot. Also I'll put a, another piece of foam right on my top of my tying table that allows me to put beads on the hooks easy. I can pick small materials off the foam easy um, instead of trying to pick it up off a slick table. So that was uh, some other little 50 cent fix that really really helps. Use a, this is a not natural light. I'm using, use a good light of some sort, whatever you can. Make sure you got lots of light on your project. You can get uh, more inexpensive lights at a hardware store or whatever. These you can access probably at a craft store. I know a lot of ladies use it for their crafting. This one of mine has also a uh, magnifying lens on it and uh, that comes in handy on small flies or when I want to see some mining deals. Got a little tool caddy. I keep the majority of the tools that I use regularly here. And then I have another little box in behind that I, I use. But I don't leave a lot of uh, materials or anything scattered on my desk at any one time. I try to get my materials that I need for a certain pattern that I'm doing and, uh, and put everything back. I know where that belongs. It's easier to find when I, when I need it. And I have some other patterns ready to go here. I've got another three or four that I'm ready to tie to get ready for some other customers. And, uh, get them on the online fly store. So anything, uh, and also I wanted to mention, I wanted to get a little coffee grain grinder handy right there for blending uh, new blends if I want, and also for uh, roughing up even if I get bag blend, uh, blended uh, dubbing, I just fluff it up, it's a lot easier for me to use. Another very important tool you want to have, especially if you're married, is a vacuum cleaner. Just get yourself a little car vac or whatever it's a, just just keep everything clean. Doesn't track over the house. If I have deer here or or lots of marabou flies, I'll be going out to my shop and my garage, and I'll just tie that out there where I can throw it any which way and clean it up from my shop back. So quite important to uh, keep keep peace in the family, if you will. On top here, I've just here's some coronamids. I was just trying uh, setting up some new. Uh, colors and so forth for the little demo I was doing. Anyway, when you're tying flies, if a fly is worth tying, tie 6 or 12, you're going to get more consistent. And uh, another thing, when you're fishing, you get, you find the right fly that works, you break it off, and then well, you know, you've got one, you know, and, and then what? So, always have a few because you're going to have some really nice flies coming off your vise and you're going to have buddies on the lake that see you catch fish your flies and you can hand them, share a few with your friends or even strangers and you'd be surprised how many people and nice folks you meet out on the water. And uh, so always tie 6 or 12 of each pattern. Another thing is um, pinch your barbs and I want to show you a plier that I use, you can go to uh, any hardware store, pick them up. This one here is smooth. These pliers, usually a plier is the, the, the edges on there and they don't smash barbs very well. This one is smooth. 
and it's quite sharp at the end too. So that works on very small uh, flies or larger flies. I'll use bigger pliers on my saltwater uh, fly hooks and that. I'll use some big pliers and mash the barbs down so you don't have to do that on the water. Also, I've had so many flies that get ruined and destroyed, not in a fish's mouth as much as taking flies out of the out of the fish with a pair of pliers. That uh, you get you destroy a lot of flies that way. So these little tools here, these little catch them release tools, you just slide down your line through it, and your this is for small, like maybe a chronomet or whatever, and you just push that out of the fish's mouth without even touching it. And same thing, here's a bigger one for for streamers and, and so forth. You just push it down your line, it goes right into the fish's mouth and slips that out. And I just put a little floaty on there because I've, I've lost a few of these over the years. So a little floaty on there, you never lose that again. So just a couple little tips and tricks that probably help you out a little bit uh, on your fly tying. And another thing too, uh, don't forget, get all the dawn on uh, sport fishing on the fly at any time. You might have some of the tips you want to share with some of your some of our viewers or, or uh, maybe have some questions. So please feel free to reach out and uh, we hope you enjoy your fly time adventure this winter and get some real good flies done for the spring. We know it's uh, going to be a long winter and uh, we're all cooped up over the COVID. So have a good one. Appreciate your watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sf otf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown head to on the fly and book yourself the trip of a lifetime